Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Are you ready to get your blood boiling and look at some entitled people? I don't know why you like me. Why why do you like this so much? Why 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 are so many of you coming to my channel to watch me read out entitled people posts? I don't really understand it. By the way, if you're here because you know you you like looking at entitled people on the internet, hi, I'm Charlotte. On this channel, we react to things. Essentially, you watch me look at things. Pretty genius, right? And you'll enjoy it too. Without further ado, let's laugh at some entitled people, shall we? Shall we? Can the admin of this group stop deleting my post? My boyfriend has been trying to sell his lizards. <laughs> and your dumb admin keeps deleting it. So I'm gonna keep posting it until they learn that it is worth selling on any site. So stop deleting my post or I'll report this group from Facebook for good. Facebook won't do anything. This group clearly states in a pin post that there will be no sale of pets on this group. Too bad, I don't care what you say. He needs them gone, so accept it. Yo, imagine having the time. Imagine having the time to post over and over and have your post get deleted. I don't have the time for that <laughs> Do you? Do you have the time? Worst treatment I've ever had in my life. I went with my wife and my little baby for a cup of tea and they told us we need it to go because holding a table for a cup of tea wasn't worthy for them as a business. I still don't understand what that was about. We always try to support small business, but in this occasion, they pushed us to cost up. Welcome to the wild new world, people. Let's make sure this don't happen again. Oh, they left a response. It is a very unfair review as you are not telling the real story, but this is a small independent establishment and you took our only large table, sat down with three large suitcases and ordered one cup of tea between three people at lunchtime and then stormed out without paying. <laughs> it is too easy to leave untrue biased reviews. Wow. Honestly, I feel like everyone should work in the service industry at some point. Like everybody needs to have a job serving or busing or hosting because if you don't, I'm pretty sure that you just don't understand that holding a gigantic table in the middle of a lunch hour without, without paying for anything or just ordering a cup of tea in a small business. I mean, anybody who had worked as a waiter would know that. Anybody, they just wouldn't even do it. All people who have worked as waiters, tip. They all tip because they know that like when you don't tip, the server is actually paying for your meal. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like at a certain point, it's like, yeah, some people are just ignorant, but uh, ooh. I mean, clearly, clearly this guy knows that what he did was wrong because he didn't share the whole story. I'm just saying how not to be entitled with Charlotte Delbray. Congrats on your marriage. I wish I could have been there to enjoy this moment with you both. I miss you guys dearly. Blank and blank, I know this is supposed to be your day, a day you guys will celebrate for the rest of your lives. Could you guys choose a totally different day? This is mine and blank's day. We got married 17 years ago today. Anyways, congrats guys. <laughs> uh, I mean, they already got married on that day. Like, so are they, are you just, are you that entitled that you're just asking someone to just change their anniversary date even though they got married on that specific day? Clearly you're not that good of friends if you didn't go to their wedding. Anyways, congrats. Do you mind picking a different anniversary? There's like 364 other ones. <laughs> Twitch streamer demands fans donate hourly or he'll quit modern warfare. <laughs> really? <laughs> what? <laughs> hourly, really? I, I, okay, so quit. So quit then. You're literally just sitting there playing a video game and you want to be paid hourly for it? If you get paid at all. That's why I don't understand. Streamers and gamers, y'all just sit around and play video games. Y'all sit around, you teach your, your viewers how to be better at video games, but I mean, at the end of the day, you're being paid to play video games. So uh, yeah, you don't get to be entitled and ask your, your, your viewers to pay on the hour. Yeah, that's a, uh, uh-uh. <laughs> Asking for a friend. I love my seven-year-old son's name, Andrew, but I hate the nickname Andy. Oh, girl, I know. <laughs> when we named him Andrew, we agreed to only use the long version and never the nickname. We moved over the summer and somehow he has become Andy in his new school. No, no, a travesty. I made an appointment with the teacher to discuss the situation. She apologized and said that she would call him Andrew. She said she would make one class announcement. As you can imagine, this has been totally ineffective. All the kids are still calling him Andy. I made another appointment with the teacher, but she was not helpful. She said that Andrew never objects to being called Andy and sometimes even introduces himself as Andy. To me, this is irrelevant. He is seven years old. I am his mother and I get to decide what people call him. She is not willing to correct the other students in the moment when they call him Andy. And I would like to take this matter to the principal. <laughs> 
My husband feels like I'm overreacting. If we don't get this under control now, he will be Andy for the rest of his life. <laughs> oh, goodness. What's wrong with the name Andy? What's wrong with that? It's a nice name. I prefer Andy to Andrew. I mean, there are worse nicknames to be called than Andy. You should be grateful that they're actually giving him a, a nice nickname and not a mean nickname. You know what they called me growing up? I'm not even gonna tell you. I'm not even gonna tell you because then you're all gonna <laughs> say it in the comments. It's gonna bring me back PTSD and I'm not telling you. But let me just say, it was terrible. It's a terrible thing to say to a five-year-old. Andy's fine. Deal with it. Hope it's fine. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you, I'm glad you like it. You haven't seen the payment yet. Could you do PayPal? I thought you had sent it already, so sorry about that. I thought it was for free. No, what? I had clearly mentioned that it would cost you $30. Yes, but you made it for free already. <laughs> because I thought you paid me for it. Could you please pay me on PayPal? I don't want to do the work for free. I don't even know you in real life. But you already made it, what the <laughs> Stop begging me to give you money. Oh my God, hey, we had a deal. I draw you, you pay me, right? Can you draw one for my friend too? Then I'll pay you for sure. Whoa. Dude, no, can you pay me for this first? Stop begging me, I'm not giving you anything. <gasps> wow. <laughs> and the thing is, she has the audacity to ask him to make another drawing after she already <laughs> him over. That's insane to me. You already made it though. So? Well, you already worked those hours, so I guess you're not getting your paycheck. You, you did it for free. That's not how it works. <laughs> what the f***? Uh, I feel like this person's like five years old. All right, so we got some reviews of the Statue of Liberty National Monument. Oh, this is gonna be good. One star, why they put it on an island? What happens if the island floats away? We just lose a national monument. I am shocked that they didn't think this through when they constructed it. <laughs> I mean, islands don't really float away that often. I'm just saying. They're not really known to, like, they might sink a little bit, but, they're, they're, you know, the tectonic plates don't move that fast. Great pond, but no lifeguard were on staff. Didn't feel safe letting my two-year-old swim by himself. <laughs> One star. One star! Next time, employ a lifeguard, and then I'll give you two stars. One star. Was unaware the park was outside. Very misleading advertisement, if you ask me. <laughs> Oh man, that's hilarious. Very misleading. I'm suing. I'm suing for false advertisement. You were unaware that Yellowstone National Park was outside? Where did you think it was? In a mall? <laughs> bruh. I say bruh a lot in these videos. <laughs> Admission prices. $10 adult, $8 senior, $8 matinee, blah, blah, blah. We know this. Special pricing. $51.76 if you leave your damn cell phone on. $20 if you tell us you are a student of life. Wow, someone said that? <laughs> yes, I am a student of life. I don't have a student card, but take my word for it. $15 for people compelled to tell us how cheap movie slash popcorn used to be. Price is subject to change whenever we damn well feel like it. Pricing for private events may vary. Thank you. Wow, that's not passive aggressive. That's not passive aggressive. Yeah, that's, uh, that's passive aggressive. <laughs> I can't tell, is it is it the people at the movie theater that are entitled or the people asking for free <laughs> that are entitled? I think it's a bit of both. I mean, I really don't like going to see movies nowadays because yeah, it's like it's like $100 every time you want to go see a movie. Just like pop on some Netflix and eat as many snacks as you want. <laughs> but then again, if you can't afford it, don't go see a movie. All I'm saying. Hey, at Steel Series, I'll do something crazy for a keyboard. I'm really desperate, I'm sorry. Something crazy like get a job and save some money to buy one on your own? Yes. <laughs> that was sassy. That was sassy. Oh man. They're right though. They right. I mean, we got the coronavirus pandemic. Lots of people are out of work. So uh, it's kind of hard to tell people to get a job right now. But you know what? It's possible. I have a friend that got fired in this pandemic and uh, she actually had like three job offers by the time the month was up. So I believe in you. If you've been fired, you can do it. You can get a job. I promise you. I believe in you, honey. My Uber driver just stopped to give a beggar some change. I was going to compliment him, very kind. The beggar yelled 75 cents, I don't want this, and threw it back at the car. I just experienced the literal beggars can't be choosers and it makes me sad. Wow. What's wrong with 75 cents? Can't you just like add it to your pile of money? What, what did you want instead? That's the thing, right? 
I really like, I like giving to homeless people, but I also like giving them food. I don't like giving them money because uh, every time that I give them money, they say that they're gonna, they need it for food and they're just popping into a cafe or something like that. And then they go in the opposite direction. So I give them money and then where do they go? Probably, I don't know, to buy drugs or something. Or for example, I'll give a homeless person like some food that I've just bought and they won't even thank me for it. And it just, it doesn't feel good, does it? Like it doesn't feel good where you, you see this homeless person outside or you feel bad for them and you wanna be a good person. And then, and then you give them something and they don't even, like they don't even thank you for it, you know? It's, 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 it's very odd, it's very odd to me. Very odd. It won't stop me from giving to homeless people, but it doesn't feel good, right? It doesn't feel good when you, when you try and do something nice for other people and then they just kind of like throw it back in your face like that. It's hurtful. That hurt me. If your name starts with the letter J, come and get a free house donut today. Please go back and do E. It is really unfair to those of us who promise a special treat to our kids. My B kid got one and now my E kid is understandably upset. Yes, I could just go buy one, but she has really been looking forward to her special E name donut. <laughs> Please, for the E parents here, make it fair. <laughs> How much is a donut? Like 50 cents? Really? Why didn't you why don't you just buy the kid the donut and say that it's her special e donut? She doesn't know any better. You're just a choosing beggar is what you are. Choosing beggar. R slash choosing beggar right here. What VIP package did we get for Barrett Jackson? And how much are they usually? Week-long passes, I think 150 each. I got four for six hundred dollars. Oh. I thought you said VIP. Why? I was talking with Blank about it. Are you complaining about six hundred dollars worth of free tickets? Yeah. Huh? Oh, I thought you said we're getting VIP. Something tells me you don't belong in the VIP section, honey. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't even belong in this VIP section. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Raffling off the opportunity to do a photo shoot with my car once it's done. You don't get anything but the honor of photographing my car. Huh? 54 tickets at $100 each. Need to see portfolio of work before I'll accept your bid for the raffle? Clicky boys, no iPhones. Huh? This guy is selling the opportunity to take a photo with his car. Something tells me this guy's tires are about to get slashed. Take a nice little key to it, you know? Just a little. No one's gonna wanna photograph it then. That's fucked up, man. These are actual complaints received by Thomas Cook Vacations from dissatisfied customers. They should not allow topless sunbathing on the beach. It was very distracting for my husband who just wanted to relax. I'm sure it was, honey. I'm sure it was. Why don't you take your top off, huh? Live a little. He should be distracted by your tits, not their tits. Am I right? On my holiday to Goa in India, I was disgusted to find that almost every restaurant served curry. I don't like spicy food. We went on holiday to Spain and had a problem with the taxi drivers as they were all Spanish. Well, no sh I want my money back. All these people are Spanish. <laughs> Chucks line up to help stop suicide attempt on Michigan freeway. Can you imagine being stuck behind the trucks and all you want to do is go home? Ugh. Bruh, I'd be blowing my horn like crazy. Like, no disrespect, but can you jump from another bridge? But I'm glad he's safe. Like, no disrespect, but I'm about to say the most disrespectful thing you'll probably ever read. <laughs> no disrespect, though. But can you, like, go commit suicide over there? <laughs> Would you mind just, just moving over a bit? I'm trying to get home. Thanks. Ladies, have this ever happened to you? You go out on your first date with a guy you've been talking to and he pays for whatever y'all did, movies, dinner, drinks, whatever. Then you go on your second date and when it comes time to pay, he's looking at you waiting for you to pay. I think that's pretty standard. Uh, it is a cultural thing, I think. I think, uh, uh, yeah, I don't mind paying on the second date, personally. I actually don't mind paying half on the first date, especially if I don't like him. I will let him pay if I do like him. I'm not gonna be uh, like okay with a guy paying for food for me if I'm not interested in him. Um, but I feel like some guys like paying, like I feel like they want to pay for things, but yeah. Um, yeah, you should do it to be polite, I'm just saying. Or at least reach for your wallet, honey. Can I sue my beekeeper neighbor? Every day I see my neighbor's bees flying around my garden, stealing the pollen or nectar from my flowers. 
Then the bees go back to my neighbor and creates honey. My neighbor then harvests the honey and sells it at Pepper Place Market for profit. I've never received so much as a jar of honey as compensation, and every day my neighbor's bees trespass and steal my flowers. No! I was stung once when I was a child, so I know how dangerous bees can be. The way I see it, this is equivalent to a person's dog coming into my yard to steal balls or tools and gives it back to his owner who then sells it for profit. Do I have legal grounds to sue? What types of things should I be documenting in order to prepare for a legal battle? What would be a fair settlement amount if my neighbor doesn't want to take this to court? Thanks for the help. Imagine feeling so entitled that you believe that your flower pollen is your property. <laughs> <laughs> like imagine, imagine that. This is probably the most entitled thing I've ever seen in my life. That is some entitled right there. Holy cannoli. Can you imagine if he actually takes his neighbor to court? <laughs> the judge is just gonna be like, are you kidding me? <laughs> You're f***ing suing your neighbor over bee pollen and honey. My first report out of Sundance. The woman next to me just said loudly, Siri, what is middle seat etiquette? Then showed me Google search results on middle seat armrests and said she's legally the owner of both middle armrests and I'm not allowed to put my arm down. What? Uh-uh. No, no. No, no, no. No, no. That's not how it works. I'm gonna Google this. I'm genuinely curious. Middle seat armrest. Armrest rule. <gasps> Plain etiquette rules are as follows. Left seat aisle with extra leg space and left armrest. Middle seat, both armrests. Window seat, window and place to lean against and right armrest. But imagine feeling so entitled that you actually tell someone that they can't use your armrest. I'm actually so surprised right now. Like I'm so surprised that they actually make it, but this is an airplane, not a, not a, not a movie theater. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that someone would even use that as ammo. It says here that I am entitled to both armrests. <laughs> that is when you elbow her in the face. Your nose can be my armrest. I am livid. Blank has been babysitting for me for seven months now, $100 a week. The hours are easy, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. like a regular <laughs> job. $100 a week, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m.? That's nothing. That's like criminal. <laughs> and the kids are basically angels. They sleep most of the day anyway at this age. I get a text from her saying that she's applying to Walmart and she can't afford to work for me anymore. She's not paying me anything, I'm paying her. What do you mean afford? Have fun working longer hours for less pay, you ungrateful <laughs> And now I'm stuck without childcare. All the daycares in my area are super expensive and every time I have posted an ad on a local buy and sell, people have left really mean comments. I'm getting desperate. I can't believe she put me in this spot. This is risking my livelihood. I thought she was my friend. Clearly you're not her friend, honey. So you're paying her $100 a week, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m.? Let's do this, let's do this math. Let's do, uh, sorry, I, I really wanna know how much this is worth. 0 0.4, so what does that mean? I'm really bad at math, someone help me. 0 0.4, 40 cents an hour? That's 40 cents an hour. This woman is paying someone 40 cents an hour to babysit her kids every day? That can't be right. Oh my Christ, that is messed up. The point is, is that that is, uh, that's illegal. That's, uh, <laughs> like I know kids are babysitting and it's all under the table and stuff, but like, yeah, that's, that's terrible. It's terrible. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm literally just astonished right now. Moving on, last one guys, last one. My blood is boiling, my blood is boiling. I worked at Forever 21 as a cashier and I guess the customer I rang up was an Instagram baddie because a few people recognized her but I didn't. And when I checked her out, she was like, this line is so long, do you know who I am? And I said, no, sorry. And then her card was declined for $1.35. What a perfect way to finish this video. All right, guys, that is it for Entitled People Part 4. Do you want a Part 5? It's getting harder and harder to find Entitled People. Where are they all? I know you exist. Maybe I need to go out yonder and find them myself. Subscribe! <laughs>